Dr. Henker criticizes Tinubu's address for ignoring state's brutal crackdown on end bad governance protesters. Well, so Yenka is coming out to speak now against his beloved friend for the way he's ruling and managing the economy of this nation. So Yenka made the observation in a statement following Tinubu's address to the nation. Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka has said that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's nationwide address failed to address the attack on urban governance protesters by security agencies for the killings that happened in some locations. Shoyinka made the observation in a statement following Tinubu's address to the nation. The end by the governance protest continue till on the 10th of August, marking their fourth day as demonstrators voiced their frustration over the country's deepening economic action, escalating poverty and ineffective governance. So Yinka said, I set my alarm clock for this morning to ensure that I did not miss President Bola Metinubu's impatiently awaited address to the nation on the current unrest across the nation. His outline of government's remedial actions since inception aim at warding off just such an outbreak will undoubtedly receive expert and sustained attention both for effectiveness and a content analysis. My primary concern, quite predictably, is the continued deterioration of the state's season of protest management, an area in which the presidential address fell conspicuously short. Such short changing of civil deserving regrettably goes to arm the security forces in the exercise of impunity and condemn the nation to a seemingly unbreakable circle of resentment and reprisals. Live bullets are state response to civil protest that becomes the core issue. Even tear gas remain questionable in most circumstances. Certainly, an abuse in the situation of clearly peaceful protest, hunger, matches constitute a universal practice not peculiar to the Nigerian nation. They belong indeed in a class of their own. Never mind the collateral claims and buzzing on protest, on posters. They serve as summons to governance that a breaking point has been reached and thus a testing ground for governance awareness of public desperation. The tragic response to the ongoing hunger matches in parts of the nation and for which notice was served constitutes a retrogression that makes the nation even further back than the deadly combination of the watershed and South's protest. It evokes pre-independence that this colonial acts of disdain, a passage that induced the late stage pioneers, Herbert Ogunde Fox Opera, Bread and Bullets, earning the nationalist series of persecution and prosecution by the colonial government. They are taking us to the old days. I don't know in this age and era, we people are protesting and we're still using live ammunition. What happens to water cannon? What happens to rubber bullets if you are going to use any weapon at all? What against the people in this situation? This is barbaric and is uncalled for. I don't know when the government of this country will get it right in any area. Shoyen Khan noted that the nation's security agencies cannot pretend on awareness of alternative models for emulation, civilized advances in security intervention. Where would they get it? They don't know anything. And even if they have it, they prefer to waste people's life than to do the needful. Are they not affected by what is happening in the country? 
and they get him food cheaper in the other market, or is there a designated market for the security agencies in this country? Shonyaka said, we need to recall the nationwide 2022-23 edition of what is generally known as the Yellow Vest movement in France. Perhaps it is time to make such scenarios compulsory viewing in policy curriculum. In all of the coverage that I watched, I did not catch one single instance of a gun leveled at protester, much less fired at them even during direct physical confrontation. The serving of bullets where bread is pleaded is ominous retrogression. I will know what that eventually proves. A prelude to far more desperate upheaval, not excluding revolutions. The time is long overdue, surely, to abandon permanently the anachronistic resort to letter means by the security agencies of governors. No nation is so underdeveloped, materially impoverished, or simply internally insecure as to lack the will to set an example. All it takes is to recall its own history, then exercise the way to commence a lasting transformation, inserting a break in the chain of lethal response against civil society. Today, marchers may wish to consider adopting the key songs of Abutogunde, Brett and Bullet, if only to inculcate a sense of shame in the continuing failure to transcend the law of colonial inheritance. Well, Shoyinka has come out to condemn the use of weapon. Let's hear what the people have to say. Shoyinka, you are welcome. It's good to hear your voice. The problem Nigeria is having now shouldn't be a surprise. Have you checked the educational background of those in power? Have you checked their life history full of inconsistencies? Now you want them to perform and reason like an elite? It is, is it possible? Can you do the work of a doctor if you are not one? Judiciary said a man without a secondary school certificate has a secondary school certificate. A man without degree has degree. A man that deals with drugs has no trace of drug history. A man that graduated as a senior student is now a male student. I make the same thing. Since legal luminaries with years of experience could do this evil, what do you expect from the president? To turn your economic around, you must be joking. We concur with the speed the light of speed. You said it all. Above all, no fear of God, no patriotism. They must not set this nation on fire with the way they are acting. The nation one address is not even more provocative, is even more provocative than when it was not given at all. Oga Prof, it is too late to keep your condemnation to yourself. Igbo like insulting people. I'm not an Igbo man. I'm not taking side. But one thing is crystally clear. On this platform, the Yoruba queue behind each other to abuse and insult anyone who doesn't bear Yoruba name or Islamic or Arabic name is even without knowing where the person is domiciled. You guys will be screaming at the person to park and leave Lagos. Bless them, most Yoruba men. They are not serious. Do unto others what you expect others to do unto you. Well, that is people's response. Are we going to continue to fight among ourselves or face the government squarely? Kindly make your opinion known as you share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.